Hi there, Andrew here and welcome back to Andrew Sender International. Today we play some more Pathfinder. In particular, we are just arrived at the Market Square and we can now start explore, exploring this area, which is definitely full of enemies, experience, loot and it's just, it's just very good. By the way, we just found Kailissa, which is part of a quest and now we are going to speak to her. The half hunched up next to you is clutching a small but deep puncture wound. Her appearance is quite remarkable. It's, her skin is blacker than any Gahundis. Her teeth are fanged. What are you looking at, soldier? She says, like you, what you see, like what you see. Okay, take a closer look at the strange appearance. Let's see if it works. No, nothing, nothing particular. Um, I know who you are. You're Kelisa, cultist of the Scary. That's a lie. I love demons and I kill any I come across. Let's take a closer look with perception. Okay, we win the, the perception uh, check. She's clearly holding something back, but she doesn't appear to be lying either. Whatever is she hiding her claim that she hates them sounds quite convincing. So uh, with that being said, I think I will not kill her because she doesn't look uh, this demon that the soldier told us about. You're not lying, but you're not telling me the whole truth. What I supposed to pour in my heart out? You have, <laughs> you have your war, soldier. Have mine. You're fighting cows and menders, and I'm fighting lies and hypocrisy. Okay. Why would Forn slander you? You're asking questions that are dangerous in and of themselves. I urge you to stop. The more you know about me, the higher the chances that a traitor stagger will find its way into your back. I believe you. Forn is at the defender's heart. You should keep clear of the place. Okay, so I just decided to let Kaylissa go, and I didn't kill her. So we just get some experience, which is never bad, but there is still a lot of uh, a lot of experience to do if we want to What's that? level up. But I think that now we have explored the first part of the walls, and uh, here there is another one. Actually, if we go in this direction, we will visit the, the center of, of Canabras. I'm not 100% sure if I want to do that. Because I wanted to make sure that I explore all the areas here. But I think I think that this, is a, this has been already cleared out, right? Looks like we came from here. Okay. Retreat already? This part was not explored, and we find some trashes. I am not going to play uh, with you wide open. my uh, turn-based combat. Speed 10 is something unbelievably bad. Why do we have speed 10 with this guy? Armor minus 10, ration minus 10, and encumbrance minus 5. Shit. I mean, we are very slow. That would be great if we use the crossbow, but if we have to go in the first line, look at this. It takes forever to go just uh, into... I don't like this. Let me check if I can unequip this. No, I can't yet. Okay, the battle is over. Now I can unequip this. I have an armor class of 17. I have an armor class of 22. Wait a minute. Armor minus five. I think that the, I, I think that the description was bugged because the speed remains always fifteen, and the encumbrance here is medium. Yeah, obviously we have to sell those things, and I completely forgot. That's why we are slower. But speed fifteen is better than speed ten, obviously. Anyways, let's see. There is a there is a house here. Nothing particular. Okay, here there is a marauder, an archer. So let let's let's go back and let me check if my position is fine. I keep uh, now Arik closer to um, Sela because uh, I think it's better. Let's activate the stealth mode. Let's proceed and attack the first enemy in stealth mode. 
So as you can see now we start in stealth mode with most of the party. The light. You are today's sacrifice. Okay, I am going to move to the turn-based combat now. I, f I find it much better. Light of the Angels, move aside. So the first enemy is dazzled and uh, my my party is not. No and my party is boosted. Like this. Now it's Camellia's turn. I think that she can strike actually. And she does. And she does. Now Volif, which is also particularly um, unfit because he has only half of it, its point. That's not good at all. We'll move aside. And the Mordor tries to hit Camellia. is missing twice. Now it's the Mordor turn. I speed up a little bit. The Archer. And now it's Lan. So Lan should definitely hit not the first line, but let me see if there is a, an Illusionist. We need to kill the Illusionist before it's too late. Now it's too late. The Illusionist has the mirror image. It's gonna, it's gonna take a little while, but fine. Okay, now Arik's turn. Arik can uh, actually focus on the Marauder here, external. Striking with the first blade, total damage 8, not bad at all. Then Camellia can do the same. Let's hit this guy here. And now Sela might consider also kill this guy. Perfect, 10. Perfect. And now Volley from behind is hitting with the sneak attack and the first champion Moroder is it's not a champion but the big guy is down now it's the archer's turn it's missing now it's Lance's turn um i always try to hit the mirror image of the illusionist because it's very strong if the illusionist then is striking it can be a problem okay now let's attack the rookie Moroder. doesn't work Camellia do the same. No, doesn't work. Sela doesn't work. Crazy shit. Ah, uh, but the sneak attack works. Fine. A critical hit, minus 13. Seriously. Come on, Arik. Well done, Arik. But well done, but not too well. Okay, now it's better. Now this is better. If she goes away, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, maybe I could drink a potion. Now Sela is striking, and Volif needs to perform a very good sneak attack. Two sneak attacks, and that's done. Vonif is wonderful. I really like. I really like him. Well done. And Lan is killing now the magician. So Ari could theoretically try a charge. Nope, it doesn't reach the archer, which is a pity. But it is as it is. Camellia could probably charge. Not really. Now we are going to activate all the attack of opportunities as soon as the archer is striking, but no, 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 no. Too, very good, very good, very good. Uh, let's pick only let's pick only the coins so far. I mean, I don't want to encumber my party further. Let us be off. I'm here. I your back. Where else would I be? So some healing. Okay. It seems that we have explored the map before the bridge. And now we can continue. After the bridge, things are getting really dark and bad. We'll make this quick. Oh she won't feel a thing. I for I almost forgot that I could meet Amber here. She's going to be one of the best companions in my opinion. I don't know. Can we really do this? Listen, we don't have a choice. There are demons everywhere. What else would you have us do? 
So, there is a group of knights surrounding a young elven girl. Name. We're sorry, girl. And it seems that it they want to execute duty. her. We have to do this. They're insane. We've got to do something. I understand. You're scared. You feel powerless. You think this will help. You don't have to justify yourselves to me. Just do what you've decided to do. So Ember is uh, smiling at them and just tell them to kill her, but that's that's not very good. Um, I will say what's going on here. We, the we, knight's hands are shaking. Our weapons barely scratch the demon's hides. We're sacrificing this girl to Iomade so we can consecrate our weapons with her innocent blood and gain Man. power. Man, so they want to kill the lady the even if they know the that she's innocent just to consecrate weapons. It's extreme, That's but stupid. we have no other choice. We have to defend this city somehow. Exactly. What were you thinking? The goddess would never allow this. That's, we, we, we just won a religious check and we convinced them to leave it. Whose idea was this anyway? My idea? I was against the whole thing right from the start. Who said we needed? Please don't fight. All of you are... <laughs> the little girl is defending the people who wanted to slaughter her a minute ago. She's either a saint or she's insane. Maybe the two together, hey, and that's Amber. Yeah. I see her all the time on the street. She's a couple of cards short of a full deck. Hi. <laughs> Remember when we used to play together when we were little? But then you went and got all big, and I still. Huh? I played with you. <laughs> you did. We played tag and hide All right, it seemed that uh, Volif and Amber know each other. Canabras is too damn small. Anyways, we are lawful and we say the instigator must be punished. The rest of you go to Defender's Heart Heaven. That's where the survivors are gathering. No. Um yeah, I, I think so. I think so. I will I will stick to lawful. Not mine, that's for sure. Well, it wasn't mine. Wait, I, I it... Okay, they are killing one of the group, and the other two soldiers are going back to Defender's Art, and uh, they will help us defending the... Good people order right. Good people. You so, I'm you sorry to hear the story of this lady, but she should definitely should join our party. Me. Call me Ember. I live here, Ember. on the streets. No, don't be silly. I'm very ordinary. Now, Soot here? She truly is unusual. I must have misheard. This girl? Join our party? Sure. Let's go. <laughs> so, uh, Camilla just said, uh, basically insulted her, and she's always so nice and, and polite. All right. I, I'm going to check, first of all, where is she supposed to stay? And the answer is slightly in front of Lan, because she has to heal the party and she needs to stay back. Now we are going to check her real um, possibilities so she has charisma she has dexterity she is a child a uh, stigmatized witch and uh, she uses axes and spells and she is strong she's very strong let's have a look at her spell book she can use burning hands cure light wounds ear piercing scream and mage armor and she can use it uh, six times a day plus days this spell divines up and so on and so forth um, her Yes, that's what I wanted to check. Her agility, dexterity, allows her to carry also crossbow, which is a light one. Uh, I would equip her immediately with a um, heavy crossbow, but she cannot wear any sort of armor. What she could do, on the other hand, maybe we can give her um, some scrolls. The scroll of prayer, the scroll of heroism, and the scroll of summon small air elemental, which is really good because if we will find each um, ourselves in a very bad uh, situation, we can summon this incredible monster. It's gonna help us uh, considering the level of where we are now. Good. I I believe that uh, we cannot give her much more. Actually, I could consider an, um, a composite longbow, but she has strength mi strength minus one, so her attack would be reduced. So I, I avoid it. Uh, it's great to see <clears throat> I should be she should be able already to heal the party that's great let's get into the house okay there are uh, swarms of rats 
we play turn base because against the rats it's really a mess. We need to use fire. It's gonna be very difficult to hit them. Volif has one burning hand and he should use it for real now. Yes. And we almost killed this war. No, not really, but half of it. One might think that, uh, okay, killing a rat is not that difficult, but there are uh, hundreds of them. So it is going to be very difficult. It's going to be a difficult battle. But Ember now can just burn them. So Arik might use his light so that the rats will be kind of confused. Sila has to attack the this, guy, this group. Missing. Shit. Can she move away without getting... Yes. Moving away does not trigger an attack of opportunity, which is very good. Lan could try to kill this group. Yes. And yes, one is done. Ember now is using the burning hands also. Trying to avoid hitting my group. But I do. I do hit my group. But we almost burned them all. Yeah, shit. Someone is sick, right? No, not yet. What if? Time to share your treasures. Not really good. Okay, fine. Camellia must uh, go away from here. Or the just try to hit this group and then run away from here. Arik might be... Oh, come on, another misclick. I do it time, time by time, right? And now I'm in the wrong position. Fantastic. Let's stop fighting defensively and charge them. Good. You won't survive me. Okay, we've just found, found a, a secret door. Season wings and things. What? Is this a recipe? Season wings and things. A tasty dish. Uh, copy the recipe. So when, if we... Oh, come on. We are now fatigued. We need to sleep here. Okay, we will do. I am helpful. We have a hide armor. A short sword. Uh, a dagger. Let me check what we have here. Okay. Aha! Complete the magic circle for uh, for a summoning ritual. Okay, this would allow us to um, summon a demon, probably. I'm going to destroy this, and I get some experience. Probably I would have it would have been better for the loot, but I don't care. Yes. Uh, now we are going to sleep yes. here. Yes. And before yes. doing that, I'm going to use my yes. spells so that. My party is uh, doing better. Fine. I need to check. I need to check here the spell book. All right. I think I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep one bull strength, and uh, since we have a lot of murders and this kind of thing, I might consider using another um, block uh, old person. Even if, if there was the chance to have, uh, maybe let's try with uh, with a creature. We can summon uh, something, some uh, creature to help us. Maybe summoning would be also a good idea. And if we go to level one, I now get rid of entangle because I think that is not really what we can, what we need. And I'm taking the bless. So bless sleep and again summon a, a lie. That's great. And when we look at our friend Volif, um, so the mage armor, it's absolutely fantastic because I can cast it also on Ember. This is going to help us, help her. Um, this thing here, the cool color spray, I don't like it at all. I think I would prefer to have then a magic missile uh, that can hit um, a magical enemy. While if we think about Grease, that's spectacular. Burning Ends, it's already something that... Uh, Ember can provide, so I go for two magical missiles. Even if... I mean, I, I fight uh, melee with uh, Volif. Oh, 
Okay, Hi hypnotism could be interesting. Because if we are in the center of a fight, the enemies might be hypnotized by Volif. Let's try this. Okay, I'm going to save. And I'm going now to camp here. And let's say auto sign. And we can all say so camouflage, what we can do. Right, right, everything is alright. Cause a recipe to cook. We can cook uh, some food. The hearty meal is giving us just uh, plus one cooking bonus on all skill checks for a day. The season wings that we just found, and we could actually have them because we have uh, all the ingredients, would give us one hit point per level for a day, which means three hit points per person. It's very little. Let's take a hearty meal. I can't uh, use any scroll, unfortunately. No one is uh, able to write a scroll. About how everything... but, what? but now we sleep and our party is complete. We have six members of the party. We are full of uh, energy and we have a dream. Okay. So we are having a nightmare and we start uh, worrying about the wound in our chest. I would say I can't ignore my health. After several moments, the weariness abates, retreating to the depths of his subconscious. Arik Redblade recalls that he slept peacefully in the Defender's heart. Perhaps a priest can explain what has happened. We have to speak to a priest as soon as we are back. But so far, look at this. We have for 24 hours plus one bonus on skills check for a day, which is small, but uh, it could be helpful. And I think that we have explored all the, all the area here. So now we have no choice. We have to go on this side and to and and, and, oh, and find the bridge, which we already built, if I remember right. Yeah, this is it. Ah, oh, by the way, before I before it's too late. So let's give the armor to Ember. Uh, our armor class is seventeen. Ember's is thirteen, which is very very low. Having a weight, um, an armor for three right. hours will allow her to have a class 17, which is much better. Let's go on the other side. And now we have to use some athletics. I think that Lan is the person to go. 19 is quite high, but in three hours, we managed... No, we failed, so we lost three hours because we got the 12. Pity. And now... We just failed. Not anymore. We are on the other side and we have to face uh, Nabricandilu and two dretches. Okay. Volif. Volif just goes and, and, and attacks. Because the sneak attack is just fantastic. And also Arik is going on the first line as slow as he can. But Sila can charge. And take the defensive fight and charge the other little thing. So she will block those two. Ember. Now the question is, uh, can they? are they immune to sleep? Nope. They're immune to poison and electricity. But they are not immune to sleep. Ember has an extremely strong ability. Which is the slumber. Using slumber, we might try to make this creature sleep. And we did. Nope. Uh, yeah, he, 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 he didn't he didn't sleep. Pity. Attack of opportunity. Okay, Camellia just moves to the dredge. Let's take the spirit weapon enchantment and you attack. Wonderful. Lan could strike Endure the big thing. Very good. We've been very lucky because no one actually hit our team and we could kill already the big thing. Reduce damage. Oh, come on. Amber, try to put him asleep again. I mean, this is the other. Okay. Okay. 
the dredge failed, so now he is uh, sleeping, and I think that Camellia can uh, try to perform a coup de grace here, since the guy is uh, belly down. Coup de grace, and the guy explodes. Spectacular. I think that having uh, uh, Amber in the party now is a huge asset. Amber and Volif are huge assets. Distract them for me. Oh, mosquitoes there. We can do it. Pity that I can't just uh, <clears throat> do anything with my sword, uh, which I consider strange because, I mean, first of all, why am I fatigued already? That's, that's strange. The Claw of Jitska, it's, uh, it's a very strong sword. I don't get it. No glory without risk. Surrender or else. Go for their hearts. Lan, you please, finish him. And he does. Yeah, there is fatigue because uh, we probably had to spend a lot of time crossing the bridge. Oh, that's the issue. Okay, this is not a battle that we want to fight. I mean, with the turn base. Uh, let's use slumber on the little creature. Uh, maybe Volif here could perform... Ah, no, not really. Hypnotism, let's try. didn't use it. You are lacking. Ah! Because I need to select one area, okay. That was an issue. It seems that my friend here has a dexterity damage and also strength damage. Let's try to use um, a treat affliction on him. something that we can do. We can move a pile of junk. And we find Silver Ring Jade, Green Quartz Port experience. Cool. And also a group of people, as far as I understand. Yes, those little guys here. And uh, Cam, the Soundmaster. I think we will invite them to the... Farm headquarters. Okay, let's save. You can trust me. Unfortunately, we are tired, but we are full of uh, um, we are full of magic, and I I would Onwards. try to use this. We will be victorious. What? Oh. Oh, gauls. Okay. Let's go into the turn base combat because those gauls are probably very annoying. There are four of them. So Volif can attack from from the yeah from the side, so he's getting a sneak attack. Lan focuses always on the weakest one, so we can kill him faster. And Ember. Alright, so Ember moves in this position and uses already the fire. Burning hands. Sela can now destroy this one. No, now it's Alex turn. Miss a uh, critical, critical failure. Okay. Cover me, all right. Sneak attack, and now Camellia can uh, charge. Oh no, there are other, there are other uh, zombies here. Those are gulls. Those are zombies. Come on, seriously. I hope that they don't see me. It looks like it looks like okay. Because actually, what we could do, we put. Here, our group and land goes here, where is not seen by the zombies. But Camellia is now uh, please 
please please please like go to the scrolls uh, give the strength of the bull to Sila at least and now zombie 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 yeah attack this guy here so now we wait for them we wait for them and we attack them melee uh, sorry, not melee, the opposite. Uh, <laughs> okay, tag them. <laughs> Ranged. A, A, yeah. I have no words left. Okay. What? We don't have, we do not have a ranged weapon for Volif. Are you kidding me? Stab you or zap you. Why not? Wonderful. There are a lot, but they cannot reach us here. And there are also shadows. Oh, shadows are so bad. They suck, you, uh, they suck the strength out of you, and then they kill you. There are three shadows at least, at least three. We need to strike them with magic, because they're very, very bad. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hit them with normal weapons. Yes, I am. I am. Sela can do that. Okay, this is a lesser shadow, then there is a shadow. And then there is another shadow. So the lesser is probably there are four of them, or no, one, two, three, three. I'm done with you. We have really to make sure. So Arik, Arik can now use the light of the angels, boost our entire party, and uh, dazzle the shadows. Okay. Then it's Amber's turn, and I think that they can be hit by magic, so I'm going to use fire against them. But yeah, they're not damaged. They're not so much damaged. Now the zombie is again. And Volif could it, hypothetically... Can he move back without uh, triggering um, um, an attack? I'm, I'm looking if they're immune to... Uh, because I don't know it if they're immune to the sneak attack. It doesn't seem likely, like, right? Mind affecting fear, compassion, emotion, poison, disease, charm, days, nauseated, stun, death, sleep, negative level, critical hits. Let's let's see. Distract them for me. I am stupid because I have attacked with. Uh... Oh, come on! I, I just did a mistake. Um. Let's use the blessing so our party is a little bit stronger. The zombies are stupid, they, they don't attack us. And now Lan... You've crossed the wrong immunity. Shit. Oh no! The shadow is attacking our uh, cell, I think. The light. Psh, oh, come on! Yeah, 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 they are draining uh, the strength out of Sela. Now she has an 18. Minus 5 strength. Okay, guys, I think that I have to rethink completely how I want to uh, face those uh, things here. And so far, only Ember can attack them with fire. Okay, the Lesser Shadow is, is gone. Ember did a very good job. Now, what if, uh, what if just goes one step back? It's getting another hit, but now we can use a magic missile, which is gr great. Um, which kind of attack can I use against this? Actually, nothing. Well, well, well. I could evoke mites or a giant frog. Just to have, um, just just to have some more um, power on our side, and 
Okay, let me take now the perfect strike. Let's start hitting the zombies from the other side because Lana is, um, is just a normal bow. The zombies are very stupid and very weak, but sooner or later they will catch us. Now Sela stops uh, fighting defensively because I think that it makes little sense. We use Smite Havel and then we attack this guy. And, and we are missing with a one. Okay, now Lan is targeted. Okay, Arik. Strike with all your might. Nothing we can't strike. Ember uh, needs to use maybe some magic um, ear piercing scream. One damage, it's crazy bad. It's crazy bad. Volif. Oh man, if I only had uh, the chance to. I should have picked probably more um, magic missiles. Let's see if the acid is hitting. Oh, we don't hit. Divine zap, probably. One damage. Crazy. Okay. Okay. Sela has to attack again. Okay, six damage is wonderful. Six is great. And then she's dodging, wonderful. Also, Lan is dodging, which is wonderful, really. I am very happy about this. Now it's Arik's turn. Uh, we try to hit always the shadow. And we kill one, and we have killed one shadow. There is one shadow less left. Um, let me see if I can put this to sleep. Really, if it works, immune. <laughs> I, I just, I just burned one attack. I, I just made a big mistake. So, Volif, um, let's use the sneak attack if it's possible. Time to share your treasures. Immune. Okay, Camellia has to focus on this zombie. Damage reduced, really. Okay, the frog go. <laughs> Can kill zombies, apparently. Make every strike count. Very good. Okay. Okay, great. One zombie is gone. The, light the next one follows you. soon. And the shadow tries always to hit Lan, which I, fi I find uh, interesting. So, Amber, uh, use again a scream against this shadow, because we know that this works. One damage. It's nothing, but it's better than nothing. Um, let me see if... Uh, no, 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 no. That's, that, that would be... That would be silly. Oh! I have a scroll. I could use the scroll and actually... I have, I have hit the shadow before for three points. You are today's sacrifice. Come on. You never know, guys. You see? A giant evoked <laughs> a summoned frog can be very strong. the wrong mongrel. Now, Arik. Um, no, this is Sela. Let's charge if we can. No, let's just go here and, and strike. Oh man, Volip died. Minus 13. Okay, it seems that I will have to do again this fight in the next episode because I'm absolutely not happy on how I. How, how it worked here but now that i know that i have to focus on the shadows i think that i can try to kill the zombies separately and then use um, immediately focus my 
uh, enchantment and use a lot of missiles, magic missiles and fire against the shadow and then I think that I can win this easily but it was a very good match um, I really enjoyed it I'm not accepting this outcome because I don't want to resurrect uh, Volif we see each other next time in the next uh, episode and we will fight this thank you for watching and see you next time